This is Michi Hoye, this is AC Asak Speed, and this is my first try in the new competition hosted by Studio 397 or hosted by R Factor 2, however you want to see it. And it's the fight for the pole position on the legendary Lime Rock Park in the U Mazda USF 2000. So, I've already opened up the leaderboard, which you can see right now, and um, already the competition is running since Saturday 18th of May or Friday even 173 no 174 entries already uh, looking at the leaderboard with Yuri Kastrop uh, world fastest gamer finalist uh, so is my Miroslav Davidovich I believe uh, we have Kira Burika Formula Sim Racing driver Boya Milan a uh, very good GT driver and R Factor 2, that's for sure. Dennis Jordan, ACR Saxby driver. I think Martin Fuhrmann, he is one of the three white motorsports guys uh, from Germany. Risto Caput, ACR Saxby guy. Luca D'Amelio, uh, Formula Sim Racing driver. So is um, also from ACR Saxby. Alex Siebel. So uh, quite a few famous names in the top 25. And I definitely want to have a look on this competition trying to join this session so i have to click there you go in order to join this so uh, hey kuma tutorials sorry kima tutorials thank you for being here thank you for joining in um gotta look forward and setting in a lap time um i have actually no clue where i gonna be um i've driven the s uh, the usf 2000 in uh, sim racing system competitions well, this is literally four months ago, and meanwhile the series does not even exist anymore, so uh, yeah, looking forward to this. Haven't driven Lime Rock Park on R Factor 2 ever, have done it on iRacing though, but as we know, iRacing and uh, R Factor 2 are two complete different sims. So, gonna have a look, uh, attempting the direct connection. I'm taking the car with the number 792 because uh, I'm born in 1992, so that is the link towards that. Martinsen, hey, how are you doing? I'm fine, and I'm taking out that uh, USF 2000 for first spin around Lime Rock Park. No chicanes. It looks like a pretty easy track, but it's, I can tell you, it's pretty, pretty difficult. So, four people in here, Joe Sifford, uh, oh dear. So we got like six and a half minutes to set somewhat of a lap time. Okay, go left, and we go left. Is this the spot to enter the track? Probably not. No. No parking. <laughs> in before I park here. Put it into neutral. Hey, cover jewelry. So, for those of you wondering what he's talking about, he is uh, Yuri Kastrop. Right. What is this man doing here? Oh, no front wing. Yuri, quickly tell me where to go on the track. Or is it right there at the back? Oh, I might have just found it. Yeah, Haiku, I'm looking forward to do um, a spin on that Porsche RSR as soon as that comes out. But right now, I'm just interested in going for a run here. Is that an opening right there? Looks like. There we go. I'm not sure whether this is. Um... Right, according to Rudy, that is not the way to enter this track. Um, as far as I know. This USF 2000 does not come with tire warms, so you have to bring them up to temperature by yourself.
All right, thank you very much, Jim Papas. Gonna have a look at that next time. Uh, so we got four minutes left, which should be enough for five or six laps. I need to find rhythm and limit though first. There you go, that's the first off track already. That lap was a 56.60. Uh, from what I know, that is the setup is adjustable um, with damage on the car. Okay, how can this be so oversteery still? Um, let's see if that gives us some help. Oh, despite fire trucks and everything. There we go. Right, despite the damage, I just have one shot. At least at somewhat of a lap time. You were gonna see me crash and fail a lot today. And there we go. I think you really need two laps in order to get the tires warmed up. Right now I do think I'm sitting in the dilemma that whatever you do, um, you're not allowed to restart this session. Only admins can do this and obviously I'm not an admin. Yeah, this car definitely needs warm tires to work. Um, Carsten, I'm not really sure about that, but I would say not too much, um, because there are a lot of, of fast corners. Well, obviously they require downforce, but despite the fast corners, you have quite a lot of straight lines where you want to have uh, a lot of straight line speed um, so you'd rather get these uh, get the grips out of uh, the car itself not by the uh, aerodynamics keep doing the same mistake here I'm not quite sure, they say there is a, a cool bunch of prizes to win, from someone I've heard there is about 100 euros or something. I haven't double checked though, and I do not have an info from Studio 397 directly. All right. 
right. If you jump around like this here all the time, I wonder whether you need a lot of downforce. I feel the fuse completely wrong. There's that information lab, interesting. So that guy set the fastest lap time of the session, which I do believe was a sub 50. And I just hope if we can do that race that the server was going to restart itself. Well Danielle, I would always join such a competition just to see where I'm at, you know. Obviously I do not have any benefit on uh, running this competition because the possibility I win the 100 euros is quite small can't make them tire spin really the case that you have to drift this car a lot. Oh look at that, someone flew over the bump. The lap was a 103.27 This is better than last time because last time those weekends didn't really restart and then you had to leave the server and you needed to be very lucky to not rejoin the very same server you just left. I need to work on that setup. The cover jury, I'm pretty sure you're not running the standard setup, are you? was a 55.36 I didn't really like driving the radical to be fair but now when those tires are on temperature things are a lot better at least setting a lap time without running off that would be great there we go is it gonna be sub 50? nope that was a 50.48 
final blow. I'm not gonna make it work here. bit quicker it seems but now I'm off track nah. oh look at that still not quick enough Alright, let's have a look whether we somehow get um don't think you're allowed to Fair enough. Alright, here we go again. Um You need to keep the tires kinda cool. I kind of do not believe that. Um, anyway, I'm just working around a little bit with setup, trying to get in some speed. Right now, I'm like not looking for this one lap performance. Um, since I need to set a lap time first anyway. So I just saw myself being able to do a 50 something. So ditching into the 49s as the next target. For what, what is the track record currently? Is it 47.6 or something? Uh, interesting, already got damage on the right hand side of the car. Thanks to running a little bit over this uh, strip of grass. Alright, here we go. Yeah, getting the slip angle down uh, up that hill gonna be funny. I think I can take less fuel then. I think the first sector hasn't been that bad, really. Come on. I wonder whether this time you can damage the car on those curbs. Would be just about real.
The lap was a 50.74. Yeah, I would be pretty happy if I just get one lap without major in issues. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Risto. I'm uh, gonna have a look at it. And try keeping it private then though. I'm still out on the basic set. But I do understand you definitely need a adjusted setup to do something great here. This is the most tricky part, like to do that jump without losing the car. The lap was a The lap was a 49.75. Right, a 49.7. Can I somehow see? Of course I can't. Um, right. Yeah, good point, Daniel. Good point. Yeah, I'm just trying to play around with the settings now a bit. Um, and see whether I get the balance to somewhat useful for me. I think this here is definitely the point, yep, where you either lose a good lap time or lose the car. It's definitely where you lose the lap. Whenever the first sector is perfect, this is the point to really jinx it. Alright Robert, have fun too. I hope your streaming goes well whenever you do it. Just uh, leave me a message so I can have a look. Wrong approach. Oh, for God's sake. Maybe I just took out the entire turning momentum now of the car.
need to have a look at sectors though first. And into the barrier we go. So Jakub has set a 48. Which was this lap here. So we definitely want to have a look. Very often you can learn something. This car does not seem to be in too big of a slide. I'm very interested in the next corner though. Yeah, as I said, if you if you keep it here, you're pretty much golden. I'm sorry, but his car seems not to be too slidey at all. Oh, and he threw away quite two tenths there. I'm gonna be very interested in, interested in that, Robert. Into the endurance things. And your thoughts on it, anyway. We're still on that Mazda USF 2000. Hey Jimmy. <laughs> well, obviously Yuri is a is a guy to catch. But looking at myself right now, I'm not even sure if I can catch other guys first. Well, that's the point, Robert. If you're not annoying me, I can definitely give you a place in my stream. But first of all, I need to go into the 48s. And I've just ripped the car balance entirely now, I believe. So, okay, <laughs> still missing six tenths though. No, what I did to the set was simply wrong. So, we're gonna build backwards. And try something else. Yeah, Risto, just as you said, exactly that happened to me now. Well, Jury, to be fair, maybe I'm on the wooden, on the wooden way, like doing the completely wrong thing. As I'm still missing four tenth to Jaco. And I know I will exactly lose it right here. 
There you go. All time gone. That was a Four, six tenth. Let's see what we lost there. Literally two. The lap was two and a half. Point zero two. for that turn three. Unless I nail everything now. No time improvement. No time improvement. Uh, into the barrier. So, Jury, if your setup is more oversteery, I can totally understand your point of like not pushing the outlap at all. Because uh, if you keep constantly sliding the rear of this car, the tire temperatures go completely sideways. Let's see, balance final turn, a lot better. Thrown away get sector one. Still can do it. Three tenth should be findable. Final turn. There you go. New personal best. Very marginal though. The lap was a Too wide again. Ah, Michi, you mop it. Do we throw away a forty-eight? That was a forty. Most nine likely we did. Nine seven.
Now we've thrown away the car. Not into the barrier though. Final turn is easy for the throttle now. That was a 54.38. Ah, tires are giving up. That was definitely the right direction for me. Um, yeah, sim simply go again. I'm pretty sure some people have put in a 600 laps or something already. Um, I do not have the time doing that, but I want to enjoy myself a bit. Because uh, I really love seeing more competitions coming out on our factor 2 not just my favorite sim I also consider uh, this sim to be the most realistic one in all terms people may argue about sounds or graphics or whatever but the physics are pretty great This, uh, whatever it is, is a little, little bit annoying though. Other than that, I like what's going on here. This track is not lacking a lot towards the uh, version of iRacing. In fact, they look pretty similar to me. Less rear wing, maybe that is an issue, I hope not. As long as you leave yourself enough room for catching the slide up the hill, I should be fine. Alright. Maybe a little bit too less rear wing though, Let's have a look. believe it. Was it 6.10 that was down? 6.5 Hmm Quick look of something Quick guy is not on the server anymore, sadly. And I'm not just um, not going to turn too long anymore. I get the three or four other tries. I'm capable of doing a 48. Uh, so I think Yuri, did, you did a 47. 7 or something. Um, I saw that the leaderboard was quite packed, say in uh, 2 10 different between uh, P1 and P20 or something. 
However, I definitely want to make my way up into the P50 with uh, some sort of basic setup and not too much knowledge on the car itself. Like, it can be pretty nice, you know, that turn, but for example, was pretty lovely to my standards. It's just not, I'm doing this consistent enough. Not on the grass. Personal the best. That was this stupid three, mistake. Nine point three three. That was a 49.60. Nope. Enough. And I just thought this car has like no torque whatsoever. Oh, you can push them things around. It's good to know. Um, so we're not in the 48s yet. 49.3. We put it together, it's a 48.9 though. Once I reach that, I'm gonna leave it. Not entirely, but for the moment. No, losing an entire tenth here. Losing another two tenths here. And losing it completely because of hit in the cap. Okay, I know what I'm doing wrong. I can counter steer it, I should be able to doing it, just way, maybe that's 5% too aggressive. Problem is once you lift it in that car, you lose the momentum on it. But 
out for the very first time, I do believe the first sector was somewhat okay. I mean, I do not have to put myself into illusions. I'm not quick at the minute. Not at all. Oh, I'm not even safe enough. So that is tires lit. Flat spots on them. Nevertheless, we're gonna try. Too big of a slide. Not a perfect one. Into the 48 we go though. 48.88. Not far enough on the inside. I've just discovered another glitch on my set. That should work a lot better. And only this is one of the final tries, I would say. Um, because I got some different things to do today still um, you may see me live again doing a GT3 Mercedes on iRacing at Suzuka on the VRS GT3 or the VRS GT Sprint Series um, that's either gonna happen in an hour and ten or at midnight around that I may jump into our LMP2 car for the AOR 24 hours of uh, Le Mans, doing some practice there. Or maybe I give this one another spin, I do not really know yet. What I do know though is that there is still a lot going on today. Not necessarily on my channel but behind the scenes. Too bad. Sector 1 is not gonna be good. In fact, it's gonna be pretty crap. Uh, so that was a bit too much. Also, I missed my turn in point. I wanna be surprised on how far I'm off the leaderboard there. What I do know is that the real gap at the minute is a bit more than a second. And I do know, or better say I do not know, where I lack it really, rather than planting this car with balls and stuff. The overall balance seems somewhat okay now. Um, I'm just not sure whether it, the balance is quick or not. Where the balance definitely is not quick is this turn here. It's just a little bit too slight. It just got it right this time. But I may start into a negative time or turn one. Slide it too far. So once again, uh, Sector 1 is not going to be perfect. The exit out of 3 was really good though. But it really matters right now.
No, too big of a slide. They're gonna eat up all the delta towards the line. The lap was a forty marginal point eight six. Get that. The lap was a forty eight point eight seven. Well, one could probably argue I'm slow, but I'm consistent. Doing repetitive point eights. Too wide. Rip. Yeah, there you go. All right, chaps. We hold on a minute. So Jakub was pretty, pretty quick. Where is that lap? He was doing so good. Ah, uh, probably he just left the server, so one could not see it. But. What I want to see is his top speed towards turn 1, so I might run too much wings. But he looks rather settled and really off gliding. Wow, I, I would have lost my car, really. So that was definitely something in the setup, I would assume. Um, nevertheless, uh, we keep it competition one. That is the first set, my first try. Um, I can't really say I'm happy, but... Ooh, E60. There you go. So he just set himself a P5 lap time straight there. Uh, Jury, I'm gonna have a look at your lap definitely. Uh, so I'm probably capable of a 48.5 at the minute, which would put me something into the top 50. Ah, Antonio Kolarec, old friend of mine, Timo Valkajevi, ACR Sack Speed Driver. Devin Brown, ACR Saxpeed, Robin, ACR Saxpeed, and FSR driver. So if he can put in a 48.3, I should be able to do that as well. But every guy, every human being got his flaws and got his issues. And mine is to be 100% quick on new cars. So I can get him somewhat up to speed for 45 on 90-95%, uh, on but to... Extract the last five or ten percent of performance. Ah, it's gonna take me ages sometimes. Anyway, guys, that's about it for the moment. Stay tuned to the channel. Uh, see what's going on in half an hour, an hour, maybe two or three hours. Uh, it would be so lovely to see some of you guys back here on the stream and on the chat. Um, other than that. That's it for the minute, and uh, I hope to see you guys back soon. And um, yeah, hope you have a great evening all together. So, see you there. Goodbye.